Hello and welcome to the video Eclipse Connect to PostgreSQL with me Nam Hamming from CodeJava.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to connect to a PostgreSQL database server right inside Eclipse ID using the database development perspective. So you can perform basic database management tasks right inside Eclipse IDE without leaving the IDE or using any external tools. In details, I will show you how to download PostgreSQL JDBC driver how to make connection to a PostgreSQL database, how to manage data in a table, and how to execute some SQL statements. And I'm using the following software programs. Java Development Kit, Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java Developers, and PostgreSQL Server version 13. Firstly, you need to download a PostgreSQL JDBC driver that allows Java application like Eclipse to connect and work with a PostgreSQL database server. So open the web browser and type the URL is jdbc.postgresql.org. This is the official homepage for PostgreSQL JDBC driver. And click the download menu here. And you can see the current version is uh, 42.2.18 here, uh, which supports uh, PostgreSQL version 2.8 or newer. And uh, click here to download the latest version of PostgreSQL ZDBC driver. Keep the file is being downloaded. This is a jar file for ZDBC driver for PostgreSQL. Show in folder. And you see, this is a jar file for PostgreSQL JDBC driver. This is Eclipse IDE on my computer. And as you can see, I'm using Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java Developers version 2020.09 here. And to open the database perspective, go to the menu window. So perspective, open perspective, as a and you can see the database development perspective here and click open and Eclipse opens the database perspective and you can see the main window is the data source explorer that allows you to make a database connection here you can right click and make a new connection or click this uh, new connection profile you can also switch back and forth between uh, Java perspective and uh, database development perspective by clicking on the buttons to the upper right corner of the IDE here. Java E perspective, Java perspective, and uh, database development perspective. Here yeah, you see. Now I will make a new database connection to a local instance of PostgreSQL database server on my computer. So under the database connections node here, right click and click new. And in the list, choose uh, PostgreSQL here. Enter the name for this connection profile. Hmm. For example, shop me database on local PostgreSQL. Click next. And here you need to specify driver for PostgreSQL. Click this button and choose PostgreSQL JDBC driver. In the jar list here, you need to remove the default here and click add jar zip to pick up the JDBC driver of PostgreSQL which has been loaded previously here. PostgreSQL and specify connection properties here connection url here because i'm going to connect to a local instance of PostgreSQL. so i just uh, change the database name here shop me and database name here is just a display name shop me database and provide password and user ID. And click OK. And click here to save password. And click test connection. And you can see ping succeeded. That means Eclipse has successfully connected to PostgreSQL server uh, specified by these connection properties. And click next. 
and you can review the summary information here and click finish and then you will see the new database connection appears in the data source explorer view here show me database catalogs show me schemas and the user tables is in the public schemas here tables you can see the students table here you can see the columns in this table name email and id here and to manage uh, data in a table you can uh, right click on uh, the table and select commands from the context menu and uh, as you can see uh, the database tool in eclipse doesn't allow us to create a new table or modify an existing table it allows us to manage data in a table only so i want to view some uh, rows in this table right click data and sample contents and you can see uh, the rows of this table appears here the status of the uh, sql select statement here now i want to uh, uh, insert some rows into this table so right click data and edit and you can see eclipse uh, shows the rows in the table like this and i'm going to insert a new row mm, id3 email zone.do at gmail.com name zone do. and the next row um, Alex dot Stevenson at yahoo dot com. Alex Stevenson ID four. And when done, you can uh, right click and click save here. And you can see the status here. Uh, two SQL insert statements have been executed successfully here. Inserted two rows here. And I want to update uh, this uh, student name Ravi Kumar to Ravi Kumar Krishna and uh, right click save and you can see the status for the SQL update statement here update uh, student table set name here uh, updated on draw and I want to delete uh, this a student so right click on this row and click delete row and right click save to commit the changes yes and you can see the status of the sequel delete statement here deleted one row very easy and convenient to insert edit update and remove rows in a table And to write and execute SQL statements, you can uh, right click on the connection name and click open SQL scrapbook. And Eclipse uh, opens a new SQL editor here and choose the connection name here. And here you can write your own uh, SQL statement. Select asterisk from uh, students. And to execute this uh, SQL statement, you can right click. Execute all. And you can see the result status uh, here. The result here. And there are three rows in this table here. Uh, similarly, I write another SQL statement update. Uh, students set uh, name equal John Mark Kula. Uh, where ID equal 3 and to execute this uh, SQL statement only you select it and uh, right click uh, execute selected text and you can see the status of the update statement here one row affected so you can see it is uh, easy to run execute SQL statements using SQL scrapbook And when finished working with the database, you can disconnect by right clicking on the connection here and disconnect. And to connect again, right click and connect. 
ETH. So for the basic uh, database uh, tax, you can use the database uh, tool in Eclipse ID to manage uh, data in tables. Uh, very easy and convenient. You can also uh, modify the correction properties here. Filter schema, filter, filter the tables here, correction properties here, and so on. So far, you have learned how to connect and manage uh, PostgreSQL database right inside Eclipse ID. And as you have seen, it's quite easy and simple to connect and manage uh, PostgreSQL databases. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.